What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy Yumi here. I have bad news. I have terrible, terrible news, everyone. I don't like Debian. I hate to say it. Um, you know, I've had a couple really, really strange, specific issues with Debian, and you know, maybe this is just because I'm used to Arch and I'm used to like weird little Arch little things you have to do. Um, uh, like on Arch, for example, I don't know, but what's, I don't know, I'm just so used to Arch that maybe like when I run into an issue on Arch, I just immediately know how to fix it. Um, as opposed to running into an issue on Debian where I'm not sure how to fix it. Um, and maybe that's just bothersome to me, right? But um, I'm, I'm, having a, I'm having a really tough time here. Um, I thought I would be, you know, fine with Flatpak. Um, it seems, it still sort of seems like the future of package management to me. Um, but it's just uh, on Debian, the only way to get um, OBS working on Debian testing is to either compile it or to um, run the Flatpak. And I was like, okay, I'll just use the Flatpak. I'm recording this on the OBS Flatpak right now. Uh, but the problem with it is that it doesn't have ending encoding. What? I, it, it's crazy to me. In 2024, not having NVENC encoding on a, on, a, on a piece of recording software. It's crazy. Um, and I looked it up. I don't, I don't think there's a way to get NVENC encoding working on the Flatpak, which is just so crazy. Like, I, like, when I was planning on switching to Debian, I was just so sure i like I, I i had just assumed that obs would have debian support but it doesn't um at least on the flat pack which is just crazy it's just astonishing to me um another thing is what um i forgot <laughs> i wrote a big long thing to my friend about it um Oh yeah, I can't get VirtualBox working. Um, it also seems like the only way to get VirtualBox working is to, like, get the Ubuntu, uh, like, the Ubuntu repos, and then just hook it up, and then download it from the Ubuntu repos. But, you know, before I installed Debian, of course I read Don't Break Debian on the Debian website, and it says not to get third-party repos. Um, so, wh uh, wh it, uh, why would I get an Ubuntu repo on Debian? because I'm not running Ubuntu, you know? And I, if I can't use um, VirtualBox, I can't do my work, I can't do my schoolwork. Um, I have an introduction to Linux class, which is rather ironic because I've been using Arch for five years, um, but you know, I have an introduction for Linux class I have to do because it's a prerequisite for my IT certifications and associate's degrees. Um, so I just need to be able to run Ubuntu in a VM, right, for that class, and I just can't on Debian, and I had just, you know, I just assumed that NVENC would work, and I had just assumed that um, VirtualBox would work because, like, why wouldn't they? Like that. That's it's like it's like it's like installing Arch and then finding out that Firefox that like they don't have a Firefox package. Like you know, it's 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 just so like it's mind blowing to me. Um, I love Debian. I love Apt. I think Apt is a lot of fun. Um, I don't necessarily prefer it over Pac-Man or some sort of Pac-Man AUR wrapper, but, um, you know, Apt is just a lot of fun. I like it. Um, and it just, I, I don't know, I just have sort of uh, an affinity toward Apt. Um, and so that's one reason why I wanted to switch to Debian. Another reason why is because, um, despite what a lot of big Arch fans say, um, Arch is still slightly unstable. Um, it's definitely less stable than something like Debian or something Debian-based like Ubuntu. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you're running Pac-Man, it tells you about, like, a package being renamed or something, and usually it's fine, but it's bothersome to go to news.archwiki.org or news.archlinux.org and have to check if the file, if the package renaming is going to change anything. And it's just, you're, it, it's just a little bit, slightly more micromanagement than I want on a operating system uh, on Arch. Um, and I'm definitely not switching to Windows, because um, I just don't like Windows. Um, and I wouldn't switch to Ubuntu because it's made by Canonical and they have all those snaps and stuff, um, which I just, I don't like sort of ideologically and, uh, <laughs> you know, functionally either. Um, but, you know, you look at, you look at Debian and it, it from, the out, from the outside, it looks so attractive. Um, you know, you look up Debian, you see all these vid videos that are just ranting and raving about how phenomenal Debian 12 is. And 
you know, I'm running Debian 12 on my Minecraft server, and I'm technically running, I think, Debian 12 on my TrueNAS server. I think that they have a, I think TrueNAS scale is a Debian fork. Uh, but it's just so, it's just so, like, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I love Debian, but it's like, just not my thing. Um, I think maybe when Debian 13 comes out, uh, sort of the whole thing around non-free packages and the repositories and the repositories is going to be figured out. And uh, I think VirtualBox is probably going to be working. And um, I think NVENC, like, I can't imagine Debian 13 coming out in like two years and NVENC still not, like I can't imagine 2026 NVENC definitely wouldn't work. But to be fair, I didn't think NVENC wouldn't work in 2024 and it turns out it still does. So. Um, I don't know. Today I'm probably going to install Arch onto a USB and I'm probably going to install Arch on it. Um, because, of course, I do want Debian experience for the workplace, but I just am not sure if that's worth having a computer that's half as usable as an Arch system. You know, it's it's just not worth it. And frankly, um, I already know my way around a terminal. I know all the commands. It's not, it's not that much of a problem. Um, tr truly the only difference between Arch and Debian is just like, what? Like, you don't add people to the wheel group? <laughs> like, I, I, like it's, it's all such minute stuff that you aren't really going to run into all that much. And honestly, working on Linux in the workplace, well, I'm going to be, what, using TrueNAS? <laughs> like, I, I don't, <laughs> you know, it's, I, it's not, you know, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, I'm spinning everywhere. Um, it, it's just, Debian is just not worth it. Sorry, guys. That's it.